Hey, Sneaky Alex back again. And now you're saying, hello, he's got LXD on here, but I don't recognise it. Well, in actual fact, it's this tiny core from the last video, but with LXD, with LXD for its desktop. And mighty fine it looks too. So if you're thinking, oh, I like tiny core, but I don't like desktop, you can actually have any desktop you want. Now, just for an example here, I've just put LXDE. And it works super fine, didn't take too long to download at all, just a couple of minutes, and it's all there to use. I also installed Gimpy 2.6, works really, really nice and quick, as it would do, because it's tiny core. As you can see, because it, it's LXDE, I've got all my other bits and bobs down there, on my taskbar down the bottom. So I've got Chromium, Firefox Beta, by the way, should I open it up? Yeah, should the Beta. You get the choice of 3.6 or the Firefox 4 Beta, which is this one. And I've not had any problems with it at all. It works super fine, fast, super, super, super duper. Like it, nice. So anyway, nice pictures and colours. All right, I've not had a really good time to use it yet, actually, but I will get round to that in a day or so. But I just wanted to show you what's available and what you can do with Tiny Core. So I'm going to go to the Bibacur, just to make sure the page works all right and all that. Uh, is Flash pre-installed with the new Firefox? Yeah, normally you would get it installed, wouldn't you? I'm afraid with Tiny Core you don't. For the simple reason, you have to install it from the app browser. And it takes quite a long while, I will say that. It's not the quickest in the world, but when it's done, it's done. And that's not just because I've got a slow internet connection, it's just slow doing it. But hey, that's one bit of a bummer. Anyway, XChat is here, as you can see, and Pigeon. Now, there's no Skype on the app browser anymore, but you can actually add Skype via Pigeon, like you can do a lot of other stuff. So if I click on here, you'll see what I mean. We'll go down, and there's Skype. So you can have your Skype contacts in your Pigeon, all sorted, hunky-dory. Nice. Now, some of you may like this interface better than, say, the ordinary interface with Tiny Core. But say you didn't. Say you say, oh, I don't want LXD, I want XFCE, I want KDE, or I want GNOME. You can have more, you can even have Enlightenment if you want to. It's all up to you what you want to do. So anyway, I'll open up the app browser. We'll connect up again. And I'm just going to scroll down a bit for you, a bit quickish, and show you the sort of stuff I mean. So we'll go down to Le. Should we go down there? Yeah, no, 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 further, 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 further. And you can see loads of browsers there. You get a choice of about 12 browsers in total, including, including Opera. And this is the LXDE I installed. And it says testing, but I've not had any problem with it. So yeah, LXDE works super fine. That's nice. Let me scroll up, scroll down, sorry. We'll scroll down for you. I'll just show you something. Hang on a minute. When I find it again. Now, if you want XFCE desktop, you get it from here. Now, you don't have to have all, add all the individuals, you just download this one here, which is XFCE4 for Tiny Core. Now, it downloads everything for you, and you'll get XFCE. And also you've got KDE and GNOME, it's all here in the app browser. So that's entirely what, up to you what you want on your desktop. You don't have to just go with a standard one, you can just customise it. But that's what Tiny Core is all about. You just get a base, and you add the bits and bobs you want until you're happy with it. So, ideal for USB stick, as we all know. Ideal just for running on an old system, maybe you've only got a tiny, tiny hard drive, so just a little tiny thing. So enable a bit of swap, and you're away. Nice. I'll open the control pen up for you, just so you can see that it is tiny core, as you can see, because you'll notice that, won't you? Because it is tiny core. Blimey. You get rid of that. A couple more things I wanted to show you. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, I forgot what it was now. Brain's gone dead again. With my tablets. Yes. So if you right-click, you get the usual XDE stuff. So I'm going to change a couple of the backgrounds and show you what I mean. So you get blue, green, and red. So here's the green. Wow. I'm in Greenland. Blimey. That's really, really bright, actually, on my screen. I'll change it again. Just to show you what it looks like. And we'll go with the red. Now, that's a bit better, isn't it? I'm liking the redding. It's very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. So, yeah. Tiny Core with LXDE. I think you should all give it a go, because it doesn't take very long at all, and you ain't got to keep it if you don't want it. But, hey. Anyway. Just to show you. Sneaky Linux out. See you later. Bye.